Shalom, 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 brother Gadal, the boy, how it is, just more precepts, first I'm going to start by giving all praise, all the glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushah, Bahashem, Ha, Ruch, Kodash, all praise to the Heavenly Father, who the world, you know, because God, in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world, you know, because Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit, double honors to the elder apostle, elder bishops, the great most stones, do you well, peace, bless the hopeful elect, shalom, shalom, so I'm going to name this one, uh, fight for righteousness, man, okay, you gotta fight for the Lord, man. You gotta fight the good fight, man. You gotta stand boldly for the Lord, man. You gotta be in this thing ten toes, man. Regardless of the afflictions, regardless of how we feel, regardless of anything that's going on, man. You gotta make sure we doing things that are um, asked of us from the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, man. So I just want to bring out a quote from John Calvin: "Whoever is not satisfied with the Mashiach alone." Strives after something beyond absolute perfection. So if you're not satisfied with Mashiach, you're striving for something that's not Mashiach. And Ma Mashiach, Yahweh Shah, is perfection, man. Okay? We're trying to get perfected through Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. The only begotten Son, man. Okay? So if you're looking for something else, this is not for you, man. If you're striving for something else, this is not for you. If you're looking past righteousness, this is not for you, man. Alright? I'm just looking down at these other quotes it says a dog barks when his master is attacked and this is john calvin still i would be a coward if i saw that yahweh's uh, truth is attacked and yet would remain silent so hey if you're striving past something that's not um uh, okay slunky let me say it in better words when a dog sees his master getting attacked he uh, helps his master he protects his master right it's the same with the truth and righteousness when we see the truth getting attacked we rebuke we correct Okay, with all long suffering and doctrine, right? Okay. And it says humility is the beginning of true intelligence. John Calvin, man. Let me say um the book of Proverbs that um fear is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. Okay. And we know fools despise wisdom, man. Let's go to that blue letter. Okay. This is Exodus 14 14. The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace, man. So the Lord, the Lord will fight for us, man. If if we are worthy of fighting for, it, man. Okay. If we do things he asks, right? And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore cries thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. But lift thou up thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. Okay, so hey, just like the Lord uh, divided, to use Moses to divide the Red Sea. Hey, he's gonna use uh, Yahweh Shah to deliver his elect, man, his righteous ones, man. So we gotta fight the good fight, man. It says, Deuteronomy 1 and 30, The Lord, your power, which goeth before you, he shall fight for you, according to all that he did for you in Egypt, which is the house of bondage before your eyes. So the Lord's going to continue to fight for us if we're righteous and if we're worthy of fighting for it. In the wilderness where thou hast seen how that the Lord, thy power, bear thee, as a man doeth bear his son, and all the way that he that ye went until ye came into this place. Yet in this thing ye did not believe the Lord, your power. So we got to stay firm, strong in the faith. We got to believe in the Lord, our power, that he's going to deliver us in, in due time, that he's going to raise us up in due time, that we're going to continue to fight for our Lord, continue to fight for righteousness, man. Okay? I have made a video to go past, go plus ultra for the Lord, man. It's the same thing, man. Um, fight for righteousness, man, meaning to go past, go plus ultra for the Lord, man. You know? All right, and it says on Deuteronomy 3 and 22, Ye shall not fear them for the Lord your power. He shall fight for you. We shall not fear who? The nations that do things against us, man. Okay, our own people that do things against us. We shall not fear them. We shall not fear them. We also shall not fear what they can do to the body, man. Because the Lord will fight for us. The Lord will deliver us in due time. He raises us up in due time, man. to the New Testament.
All right, Isaiah 31 4. For thus have the Lord spoken unto me, like as the lion and the young lion roaring on his prey. When a multitude of shepherds is called forth against him, he will not be afraid of their voice, nor abase himself for the noise of them. So shall the Lord of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion and for the hill thereof. So the Lord's going to fight for his, his, his elect, man, his children. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem, Yahrashalem, man. Defending also, he will deliver it. And passing over, he will preserve it. Okay. So that's what the Lord going to do for us, man. And let's get that word for fight. So this um Alright, let's go into that. Strong's H thirty eight ninety eight. La ham. La ham. La ham. La ham. Part of speech verb. Um part of speech verb a primitive root. Strong's info to feed on figuratively to consume by impression to battle as destruction. Devour, eat, um, f ever fight, ever fighting, overcome, prevail, make war, make war in. Okay, so the Lord going to uh, consume those for you, man. Going to destroy those, cause destruction on those um, that's against his elect, his righteous, right? To fight, do battle, make war. Okay, so the Lord's going to make war with those that's against his righteous, man. And that's why we got to stand fast, be bold. Stand ten toes, not faint in this thing, man. Okay. And I'm get that, and I'm gonna close out. Um, this is Isaiah 40 and 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. So there you go. So call Halai Amla, Allah Hai Nawa Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rachwadash. All praise to the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. In the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honor to the elder apostle, elder bishops of great millstones through the world. Peace and bless to the whole world. Shalom, 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 Israel.